What tools are you going to need to work on a Ryobi RM480EX riding lawnmower? One of the things you might want is a roll around cart. Next thing you're going to need is a block, some way to support the batteries when we pull it out. And the tools are 13 millimeter deep socket, 13 millimeter short socket, miscellaneous screwdrivers. This is to check battery degradation. I'll go more over that once I get to a battery. And an impact gun. That makes the job quicker and a 30 torque. Uh, 30T torque fitting for screws in the back. We'll see you in a minute. The Andrix connection just needs to be pried off a little bit and just push on it carefully. After you disconnect the Anderson connection, Phillips screwdriver right here, just loosen it up a little bit so you can get at your 13 millimeter long, long bolt. This goes all the way and connects, secures the batteries, this bolt right here. Make sure you take the washers with you. That's why you got to move that out of the way a little bit. It's a very long bolt. Set it aside. We're done for this section. Um, other than we got our wire disconnected, so I set this aside, our little case. Move it out of the way. And let's see. All right, let's uh, go to the back. Now the back, there are four T30s. Right here, same on the other side. And we just gotta take those out. Okay, we've got the four bolts taken out. Pick it up from the bottom, pull it down, and just set it aside. Now, you're going to see the batteries exposed here, but down here, 13 millimeter, you need one other additional tool I didn't point out, which is this wrench, 13 millimeter wrench box. Open end, open end is gonna be better because uh, it goes underneath. And we're gonna take out these two next. 13 millimeter here and 13 millimeter down below. And there's a washer in between there. I just said everything right here. You need to put that washer back. So uh, let me just pull those off. As I mentioned, now the bolts will come out. The bolts are strange because usually um, bolts go this way, but on the Ryobi, they're up from underneath. But you just pop these washers out. Remember, the batteries are quite heavy. And you want to save these washers and put them back in here. There we go. Just drop them down there. Drop them down there. Okay. Next step. I've got to disconnect this thing right here. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but that needs to be disconnected. I'm going to have to set stop. Okay, you just pr push it down this little tab where I got my thumb, and with the screwdriver, pull it out. Now, here comes the tricky part. Not the tricky part, but now we have to carefully, I kind of put this up here out of the way a little bit. Um, we're going to slide 
our batteries back. And remember, we still got a few things up there. We got our Anderson connectors that we got to watch out for. Everything is looking good. I'll show you the little little device I put on there. Now, the reason I'm pulling those out slowly because they're, they're quite heavy, and I'm going to put the uh, my block underneath there to support it. So I've got to stop. Please remember these batteries are quite heavy and you have to support it on the back end. Anderson connector, connector. what this does, it comes out, but we got to do a few things first. We just take off our battery cover here. That exposes that battery. That exposes that battery. And now you might notice right here, I put a power pulse up there. And that is supposed to uh, knock the sulfur off the cells as it charged. And it will discharge your battery a little bit. I am going to try it for a year and see how I like it. They run about $70. Called a power pulse. And this is a 48 volt power pulse. So these batteries are all in series. Four batteries. When I first bought this uh, lawnmower... I thought these were the 75 amp batteries, but they are not. They are the 100 amp batteries. So I really got a good deal on this um, Ryobi. Uh, they, I think they sell for right around, with 100 amp batteries, about $2,900 at Home Depot. Anyway, let's do our next step. I'm not trying to uh, disconnect the batteries, because I can check them where they are. But... I needed, needed to take them apart enough so I could get the covers off so I can expose these, these covers right here. So let's do our first check. Okay, I have it hooked up to just one of the batteries. And this is Ancel, and the model number is BA101. And the reason I got this is because you can do a quick check by putting Enter. And since they are 100 amp batteries, I click that and push enter again. Now it's at 100 amp. Push enter again. And now it's testing. Wow. 90% healthy, 100% charge. And it also gives you internal resistance. 3.96 micrometers. Anyway, uh, it doesn't give us the, what the CCA is, cold cranking amps. I don't know what that is. It's not labeled on the batteries. It's labeled 100 amp hour, but 90%. Now, this is our third season on this, so I'm quite happy about this because this is a major expense in this uh, lawnmower is the batteries. The, uh, the cheapest I've seen these um, cell batteries because uh, they're, uh, they got... They don't have electric light like a normal batteries. They're full of gel. They are the cheapest I've seen them is two hundred dollars. So I'm happy about that. Let's check the next one. Okay, here's our second battery. We're gonna have to go back to one hundred amp. Enter. Whoa, this one's 81%. So the battery's good. 718 CCA. It is charged 100%. So the last one was 90, and this one was 81. And these are the two back batteries. Let's check the front battery. Okay, this is the front right one. Back to 100 amps. Enter. Eighty percent. Wow. So everyone is going down. Now, I have to say that the uh, power pulse is hooked up to the top two connectors because it does go in series positive down this way and back up here to the negative. Let's check the next. 
All right, here's our last battery. Quick test, enter. Back up to 100 amps. Enter. Testing. Seventy nine percent. That is battery number four. Keep in mind, as I mentioned, this is the third season of this, and we bought this used. It had about three hours, and I don't know how they kept the battery up. So I'm quite happy after three years of using it that we're down to seventy nine percent battery. It means we should be able to get a couple more seasons out of this one. Now, to put this all back together. We just reverse the order. We got to put our little panels back in and cover our batteries back up because you can see that uh, we got to cover up all the connections again. So we'll be right at you. If you can, when you put it back together, kind of blow it out on the inside because a lot of it gets trapped on the, uh, the motors. A lot of the um, grass clippings. One of the reasons for these covers, besides the obvious of protecting the terminals, is to keep this straight. So when you put your bolt back in here, it lines up. So I push this back down. Now I'm ready to slide the battery compartment back in. And they do have like Teflon strips, so it makes it easier to, to push it back in. But I can't do it one-handed, so... The battery is pushed all the way in, so we drop our bolt down here, twist that out of the way, and make sure it screws in before you put in the bolts in the back. There. Next thing to do is plug in the Anderkin, Anderson connector right here. Ah, gonna need two hands for that one. These just clip back in. And now we're done from underneath the seat. Now, we go back here. Remember our washers. Those have to be put back. And you can see the like a Teflon sliding rail, so it makes it fairly easy to, <clears throat> well, now that I got that bolt tightened down, it looks like it should come through. Now the bolts come from underneath, and I'll do that in a second. Okay, bolts are secure. 13 millimeter up here, 13 millimeter box, open end wrench down here, open end, use the open end portion, and right here, same thing here. Make sure they're tight, and that, is almost all we need to do except for this plug. This plug right here has to be plugged back in. If I can get at it, there's our plug. And let's see if I can do this one with one hand. I should be able to. Yes, yes. That is clicked in. Put that underneath here. And the last thing Last thing is to put this up in here. Hard to do with one hand, but I'm going to try. Is that you've got to center these. Okay, the last four T30s are put in there and we're done. I did not need the um, deep well 13 millimeter socket. So that's it. Um, Everything is looking pretty good. It's been a very good lawnmower for us. Uh, it's been very reliable and quite happy uh, that we bought it. Looking forward to getting a zero, tune, zero turn electric bike. Not a bike, but a, a mower. Looking into that for our next electric purchase. Thank you for watching.